this video is going to show you Canvas groups from the student's perspective. So when the teacher sets up any type of group inside of the Canvas course, on the left-hand column of the student's account, they will all of a sudden see this extra icon called groups. If they don't belong to any groups, then they will not see this icon. So the student will simply click on it, and then they can go into whatever group they've been added to, it might be just one group or it might be five groups. It's not dependent on any single course. It's a group of that they've been placed into into any of their courses. So for this purpose, I'm going to click on this gold group. And here's what the student sees. So the group itself is given a space in Canvas to collaborate. And there's lots of options here. Only group members can see this page plus their teachers, but students who are not part of this group cannot access this section. So the group itself has an announcement tab. Those announcements will filter right here as uh, kind of like a Facebook newsfeed. So anytime they make an announcement or comment on things, it's going to show up right in here. Students can have pages. I'm going to come back to that one. They can see who else is in their group. They can start discussions with each other. They can upload files where everyone then can access those files in the group. They cannot start Canvas conferences. We do have that enabled, uh, disabled, sorry. So they will not be able to do anything with this button. But they can start collaboration. So let me show you what that one is. So what do they want to collaborate on? It's going to default to Google Docs, but you can change it to something else like Google Slides or whatnot. Um, it's going to do this whole, oh, I'm in a fake student account, so it's not going to let me go in because he doesn't have a Google account. But you could go in and pick whatever it is you want. You could pick a Google Slides, Google Drawing, Google Sheets, a Jamboard, whatever it might be that you want to do. And then I'm going to go back since he doesn't really have a... Google account, name the document, give a description, and then who are you collaborating with on this? So basically what it's going to do is it's going to take that item from the Google Drive or a brand new Google Doc, and it's going to let everyone be editors on it. So it's super simple. They just, oops, I thought you could drag and drop it. You just add the little plus, and then you say start collaborating and all of a sudden it's going to open up right here on my device. It'll open up. Everyone can access it. Everyone's collaborating together. Okay. But I want to talk about pages. They are able to create Canvas pages just like you can. So this would be a great place for some sort of a project because they can edit each other's pages. They can create their own pages. It's just a great place um, to have them doing some sort of a group activity. They can put anything they want on these pages just like you can. So they can have text. They can have videos. They can have images, GIFs. Uh, links to other sites. So just like you, they can create those pages however they want. So I like this for having students work together to create, say, a web page. And that's kind of the setup that you're seeing here. So they would have the home page of the web page. And off of this home page, they might have a few uh, videos or images, but they would have links then to more information. Well, then each student could be in charge of some port, some section of more information. So in this case, Arthur Dent, I just did um, initials, is going to do a whole page on ghettos, and he'll link that page to the um, home page of the website. And then um, Elliot Snyder is going to do a page on concentration camps, and Trisha McMillan is going to do a page on uh, the rise of Hitler. And they can have as many pages as they want. I don't have actual activity on these web pages to show you, but this could be what they work together on the home page. And then from there, you're clicking on the ghettos, or you're clicking on the concentration camps, or you're clicking on the rise of Hitler. And when you click on those things, you are going to those other pages. All right, so there's lots of ways to use Google, or I'm sorry, Canvas groups. This is one way. Of course, you can also create an assignment that is a group assignment or a discussion that is a group discussion, but this is just another option you have for letting students work collaboratively.